Ariana, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this beautiful mermaid that you guys clearly just saw in the intro. <laughs> um, so I am starting off by doing the eyes first, the eye makeup, and moving on to the face portion, and then the gills and stuff. Uh, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys do enjoy my videos, please make sure to subscribe down below and make sure to give this video a like if you guys do like it. I love making these videos for you guys, so please make sure to follow me and like me because it makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we can get started on this beautiful, well I hope it's beautiful. I actually haven't made it yet, so I don't know what the intro looks like. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and then we can get started. So now you guys are zoomed in. So let's start with the eye makeup. So I'm going to start off by priming my skin. I am using... I wish I could... You know, I wish I had my shit organized and had all of my stuff laid out. I mostly do, but I missed my primer. So I am using the primer by Colourpop. This is the Amethyst Primer. I don't know what it does. It's supposed to prime your skin and I don't really notice the difference, but I'm going to do it anyway because the beauty community told me to. So. Now we are going to wait. Oh my god, I got it in my eye. Ah, oh, don't do that. That burns. We're going to wait for an eternity for it to dry. 2,000 years later. Makes your skin so sticky. Alright. It's mostly dry. So we are going to go in with Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So it looks like this if you are unfamiliar. If you are unfamiliar with BH Cosmetics, I definitely recommend this. This is one of my favorite palettes by BH Cosmetics, and I love them. They always like my stuff on Twitter, and it just makes me feel happy. By the way, guys, I do have a Twitter account, so shameless promotion. Like and follow my videos, and check out my Twitter, because my Twitter is where I mostly post like when my new videos have, go up, have gone up. I always post my videos, the link in my description, in my Instagram as well, and on Facebook, but I mean... If I don't know you, I don't have you on Facebook, so follow me on my other socials. So I am using the ColourPop E2 brush, and I am going to go into... Is this clean? It's clean enough. I am going to go into this beautiful blue right here, and we're going to try and make a look. So, cue music. I think I'm going to reference a photo, a mermaid photo, and I will link the photo down below, the one that I picked, because I have one from Pinterest from earlier th this morning, and I definitely want to do that. I just need to find it. <laughs> ah, here it is. Probably aging, that's being slow. Oh my god, load! Fine, let's just turn the Wi-Fi off, because you're being a piece of shit. Oh, oh my god. So it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. It's beautiful, and we're gonna try to do it. So, I'll link it down below. I have no idea who it is, because it was saved and re-uploaded by somebody that did not do it. So we are going to take that blue that we put in there. So it looks like she went in with a deep purple in the crease. So I am going to take an E1 brush and go in with a deep purple mixed in with a pinky purple and just go into the crease. I literally have a pimple on the eyelid. Who the fuck gets pimples on their eyelid? Okay, now that she has that, she goes into, so she brings it all the way down, so we're going to do that, and she makes like the outer corners purple. Beautiful. 
beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Thank you. All right, so now on the inside, she goes in with teal. Let's go in on This is the Slimmest Glam. Just an eyeshadow brush and it's clean. For once in my life, I have a clean brush. Oh, I know, so magical. I'm just gonna go in with a blue and I'll just show you. I mean, this is horrible. So I'm gonna go in with this color mixed in with this color and we're gonna try and make teal. And we're just gonna put it right in the center there. It's not teal at all. Okay, so let's go into a greeny, a green blue mixed in with the blue and try to make this more teal. I don't think this girl used this exact palette, so I'm improvising. I'm gonna go back in with that purple color and blend those colors together. Back into the purple. There's a lot of blending with this look. I've never done it before though. So if it looks awful, I try. do the exact same thing on this eye really quickly. BRB. All right, I have both of my eyes on now, so I am going to take a cotton round. Now I'm going to take my makeup remover and I am going to clean this motherfucking look up. Now that we have a reasonable eyeshadow look on, this is beautiful. Yes, I'm so glad I did it myself. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more so it's not so fucking harsh because holy crap. All right, so now that the eye makeup is done, I am going to quickly go and do my foundation. And I will be right back because you guys have seen me do my foundation a million freaking times. So you guys don't need to see that. So I'm going to quickly do that and then we can come back and we can start getting this mermaid all glammed up. So I will be ready. So I tried doing this look yesterday with Jeffree Star's Drug Lord uh, Liquid Lip. It's white and it's beautiful, but it's not something that I'm comfortable doing on my eyes and it looking really, really good. So I'm going to go in with black uh, just on my normal eyeliner and just do a quick wing because I just, I'm not good enough at eyeliner yet to feel comfortable doing it with white liner, so I'm gonna quickly do that. I need to remember to start doing this before I do my foundation. Good gosh. All right, so now that the liner is on, I'm going to quickly throw on a pair of lashes. So these are the Estee Lauder Red and Pair of Lashes that I have laying around. They were the only lashes that shoppers carried at the moment because everything else is on the back order because they were rebrand, they're, I don't know, they're doing something with packaging of the Kiss lashes I usually buy. And so they didn't have any in stock and that really pissed me off because these lashes were like three times more expensive and it's per one pair. These lashes were literally $20 and my kiss lashes that I get are like five packs and they're like five dollars so I'm annoyed but I bought them anyway because I needed lashes for this look and I've worn them I've worn these lashes before I wore them out to a girls night with my girlfriends a couple nights or a couple weekends ago and they're beautiful and all that shit but are they worth $20? Nope. Am I mad at myself for buying them? Yep. Was I running late and they were the only lashes that I had available? 
at the time because I left my regular lashes at my boyfriend's house. Yep. Okay, so now that I have the lashes on, I'm just going to quickly put on some white eyeliner using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I'm just putting that right on my waterline. Now I'm gonna go in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to do the under eye lashes, or yeah, the bottom lashes with the colors. So I'm gonna start off with the same blue that we use, just. And then I'm gonna go in with the same purple. And then I am going to smoke it out with my blender brush. You have something smoky like that. Now that that's done. So this is where the fun part comes in. So I am going to pin my hair back really quickly. So now what you guys need to get this mermaid effect is you need a, well, this is a wig cap that is a fishnet design. So you need fishnet. So go to your local Walmart, your local store, anywhere that has fishnets and then pick up a pair. So. I was lucky enough to already have this. How did I do this this morning? Mm. Ah, how did I do it? Too late. So I'm just gonna put it on my head like that. And so you have a design, something like that. And now I'm gonna go in, I'm trying to blink and screw up my lashes. Now I'm gonna go in and do my cheeks. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do first? Before I do, the scales, I'm going to contour my face quickly really, because I have not done that. So we're gonna contour my cheeks with, so we're gonna contour my cheeks using the NYX contour and sculpting palette. So I'm just gonna go in with my blush brush by Morphe and I'm just going to quickly go in with my bigger brush and just blend that out. So you get some color back to the cheeks. And now I'm going to take the fishnet, put it on like that, and just go up. Looks really weird and it's really cool. So now I just take whatever brush you want to use, I'm using the Morphe E2 brush, and I'm going to go in with a dark green. So this green in my Take Me Back to Brazil, and I'm just going to make some I'm going in with a lighter green, mixed in with a little bit of a blue with a shimmer, and just going on top of those colors. Once you're satisfied, you pull it off and you have scales. <laughs> it's just very, it's very subtle, but they're, they're definitely there, as you guys can see. So that's just a really easy way to get like a scale look, if just if you wanted to have it like peeking through. You can also do it on your arms and stuff. You can, you can make it look really, really cool. So now that I have that done, I, oh my God, my makeup on my nose. <laughs> It's all scaled now. That's funny, but I mean, whatever. I just add into the effect. The eyelash kind of got a little screwed up from the fishnet, but that's okay. All right. 
Now once you have that, I'm going to set it really quickly so that it does not come off. Now I'm gonna go in with my, did I not bring it in? Oh, I did, that's right here. So I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just going to use a, this is the highlighter. So I'm just gonna go in on a highlight brush and I'm just going to highlight my cheeks. Just to get that mermaid glow. And I'm just going to quickly, I'm just gonna put some highlight on my gills. Now that I'm all highlighted up, I am gonna go in with... So now this is where this is the time where you get creative and you can just decorate your, your mermaid up to however you want it. So I have all of these shells that I wanna use. I have a really pretty starfish. I have gems. I have eyelashes. I have more gems. So I'm just going to decorate this however I want and I'm just gonna fast forward it because it's pretty plain and simple like you just kind of decorate it to however you want. I may use a reference photo if I do I will link it down below but I'm gonna put on some music and I'm gonna decorate this mermaid and yeah so let's begin. I'm gonna find a reference photo. So I found a reference photo that I am going to go off of I think because it's really pretty. Oh my god. Pinterest. Alright. So I'm just going to... So I'm just gonna go in with see more of the pearls since the shells didn't work, which is kind of a bummer, but. Oh, wow, these pearls don't like to stick to skin, so keep that in mind if you do decide to do the pearl route, it is a bitch. They do look very pretty, but it's a bitch to get them to stick. Wow! Fuck! What the hell? This glitter glue just isn't very good, clearly. Like, what the hell, Nyx? I know you make better fucking quality shit than this. Why isn't this sticking? You're an adhesive, right? Stick to my fucking skin. Now you'll stick. That's nice. Get off my finger. Holy crap. So now that we have the gems on and we have the curls on, I really wish that the shells had stuck, but they didn't stick to my skin, so we're just gonna have to deal with what we got here. So the next thing that I wanna do is I'm going to clean up a little bit. One sec, I'm gonna clean up a bit. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all of the pearls on the face and the gems and stuff, I'm just going to 
add a little bit more gems to tie it all together. I'm just going to add For my mermaid. So now the last thing that I'm going to do before, well the second last thing is, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into my Take Me Back to Brazil palette again and I'm gonna go into that first blue that we used, that really light blue, and I'm just going to fill in my brows with some blues and some purples. just so that we have a little bit of color in onto the brows, so that they match. Now I am going to add Jeffree Star's I'm Royalty and match it to my eyes. Okay, so now that I have the purple lips on, I am going to pop in some weird mermaid contacts and I'm going to grab my wig and I will show you guys the finished look. So this is the finished look. So I just threw on my wig, I made a mermaid crown and I have all of the decorations that we put on and the makeup, all of the um, scales. <laughs> I can't remember the word for a second and I put in some contacts and it's just like a very simple but very fun and cool mermaid so this is definitely a look that can that can be done by beginners and if you're looking for a Halloween costume to do for to do for Halloween this is a great look to do it's pretty inexpensive you can get a lot of these shells at craft stores at dollar stores you can get these contacts online I got these personally um, from a local costume shop that is in Edmonton and they're called Carrie's Costumes. So I will link them down below. They do have an online store so you can buy these contacts if you are interested in them. And then obviously I'm wearing Jeffree Star's lip. You can use any purple lipstick you want. And then the BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette is extremely inexpensive. And then I will put a, um, I will put out <laughs> A video on how to do this mermaid crown. I just looked up a couple do-it-yourself crowns and I just kind of followed someone's tutorial. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a simple tiara but it's all seashells and it's really pretty and it took me took me about an hour or so to do because I am anal and I like to make sure that it looked how I wanted it to look. <laughs> um, so it just fits on my head like that and then I have the string in the back so that it can, I can adjust it to whoever I want. And then of course you guys already know all of the pearls and stuff that I put all over my face. But yeah guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a big, sorry there's hair in the way. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. If you guys do enjoy my videos, please make sure to give me a follow and subscribe to my channel. I am going to be doing my next giveaway once I reach 200 subscribers. We are at 190 right now. So please hit that button and join my online family on YouTube and uh, this one's falling. As you guys saw in this video, some of these some of these decals don't want to stick to skin and they're a giant pain in the ass. They're not really meant to be stuck on skin. They're more of like decorative for making decorations and 
you just have to work with it. You have to keep trying to get it to stick to your skin. I tried using latex, I tried using adhesives, I tried using glue, and they just kind of fall off with the facial expressions you do because your face does move, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But, I mean, it's still very beginner friendly. You just have to have a little bit of patience. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!